Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be discussing about how to create a to-do list using DSA data structures in C language. I hope we all know why do we use to-do list, right? Generally, it is used for task management uh, and also to organize the things and to maintain the things in a proper way so that we can know which activity to be done first, which activity has a deadline at what time and stuff like that. So this is the same motive that I've kept for designing this kind of to-do list using C language. So I'll be driving you through all of the steps processes. So first of all, let me explain you what all things that I had created, done and implemented are adding a category, adding a task under the category and deleting the task that we have added under the category and then display the category by task and count all the tasks that we have to perform. So I'll be explaining these things in further, so stay tuned. So let me explain to you the code guys. So first of all, we have used three header files in which we have input output and dynamic memory allocation and string manipulation. And talking about the structures, this code defines two structures. One is structure category and uh, structure uh, task to represent the task and the category. This is a struct task has two members, which is a task about a description of the task and the next pointer which points to the next task in the category and in structure category which is struct category has three members one is a category name which is the name of the category and the task a pointer to the first task in the category and next a pointer to the next of the category so the functions to create task and category the code defines two functions to create new task or a category first of all create task so in this we allocate uh, in this section we allocate the memory of a new task set uh, by setting its description and initializing the next pointer and next in create category here also we allocate the memory of the new category and set its name and initialize the task and the next pointer here in the category we initialize the task and the next pointer in this uh, task we just initialize the next pointer uh, next Finding a category. The find category function is used to search for a category by its name. It iterates through the list of the categories, comparing the names and returning a pointer to the found category or it either gives you the null value as you can see. Next, here we have, uh, now we'll be talking about add task and delete task. In this add task, uh, we generally add a new task to a specific category. It creates a new task node and updates the linked list of task within the category. And let's now talk about the delete task. It deletes a task from a specific category. It searches for the task by name and removes it from the linked list. If it is not existing, then it will first ask you to create it and then delete it. So this is how the delete function works. Uh, and next, a count task. The count task function counts all the tasks in all the categories. It iterates through all the categories and tasks and increments a counter for each task and returns the count. Uh, count. As you know here, the count function is first of all, uh, in the initial state, it is put to zero. As it traverses and it finds on the task in the category, it uh, adds it by plus plus. So that's how this count function works. And display by category. And this, it, uh, first of all, this function displays all the category and their associated tasks. It iterates to categories uh, and for each category, it iterates through its task and prints them. I'll better explain this display task by category in a proper diagram that will give you people much more clarity on it. And then int main function. In this int main function, it is uh, quite simple. The int main is like uh, the entry pointer of the program. It's it's generally like uh, what all are we going to see in this to-do list that we have talked till now. For example, add category, the function that I showed you, then add task and then delete task and display the category and all of this. Like uh, before I've showed you like the code of it, here is the implementation. So to perform each of this, we use switch cases. Uh, if I choose one, it will go to add category and in add category, First of all, you try to take the name. You try to take the name and uh, and the this name is nothing but the category description. So the category description will again go into the linked list that we have created for categories. And then two for adding a task. So first of all, it takes the category that you want to add the task into and such as whether the category exists or not and then add the task into it. And then third one is like... Uh, 
Third one is delete function. Uh, if you oh, sorry, delete task. So if you want to delete a task, you obviously have to know whether the task is existing or not in a particular category. So first of all, you'll enter the name of the category and then you'll choose the task that you want to delete. If that thing is existing, if that category is existing, we will be allowed to delete it. If not, it will ask you that the cat. Uh, it will say that the sorry, the category is not found. And the third one, uh, sorry, and the fourth one is to display the categories. So it's just like a display function, as I already told you people. Uh, display category is generally like this key. Uh, it will go through all the category. It, it first goes through a category and then prints all the task in that category and then goes to the next category and prints all the task in that category. And the same goes on till end of the loop and the last node points to the null. Till then it keeps iterating. And the fifth one is the count function. It, it counts how many tasks are there that you have to complete today. So you will be adding the task into a particular category. So first of all, it will go to a particular category and uh, take on uh, take all the numbers of tasks which are existing in that particular category by using that count, which I've already showed you here. Um, so yeah, yeah, so here the count is already set into zero as it iterates to a particular category and then it keeps going to all the tasks in the category and increments the count. So by this you will know how many tasks you are supposed to complete today. Uh, and uh, the sixth one is like uh, to completely wind up this whole of this thing and uh, if you press any uh, apart from all the six, if you try to press any of the other button, then it will uh, print that the, you have choose invalid. So please try again. So let's right now execute the code. So first of all, here first one is add category. Second one is add task. Third one is delete task. Fourth one is display category by task. And fifth one is count all the tasks. And sixth one is exit. So first of all, for example, let me type one. Let me add a category. So I'll add a category example work. And I uh, so successfully the work has been added. Now let's try to add a task into it. When I press two, it will first ask me the name of the category. For example, if I enter work, and then it will ask enter the task. So for example, in work I write read. Then the read is added to the category of work. For example, right now, uh, let, let's try this way. If I want to add a task, but the category is not existing. So right now I'll add it. I'll add a, I'll write a name of the category, which is not existing. So for example, if I write home, and if I write task like wash, so it has printed the category is not found. Create a category by entering one. So that means that if a category is not existing, it will ask us to create the category instead. So for example, right, uh, let us add another task so that you can delete it. So do and then work. And then I wanted to add right. Now let's perform a delete task. So when I press three, it will first ask me the category. So for example, I write work. And then I want to delete read. I don't want to read. So I'll delete the read. So uh, right now, let me display it so that let's check whether the read got deleted or not. So here it is work and write. Task is right. So this is how the display function also works. Now let me count how many tasks should I perform today. I think it has to print one. Yeah, see, total number of tasks are one. And what is that task? It is right. And right now I'm done with performing the code. So I just want to exit from this loop. So it is six. Here we go. This is how the code works. Now let's talk about all of the time complexity, which is one of the most crucial topics. So first of all, uh, for creating a task, like to create a task in the first place, the time complexity is big of one. To create a uh, category also is big of one. And to find a category as I have to traverse through n number of things. Uh, so it is big of n because we don't know how many categories are existing, how many tasks are existing. So it is big of n to traverse. And to add a task, it is big of one because in general, whenever I add a task, it gets added in the starting. So it's not a big deal to check till which extends the tasks are. So it is big of one. And to delete a task, it is also big of one because we first of all find it and then delete it. So it's just we try to uh, we try to match the task description, which is a quite easy to way of searching for a certain thing. And then uh, for the uh, for the count function, it is big of n because we don't know how many number of 
categories are existing and how many number of tasks are existing so we need to traverse through each of the task and each of the category existing so it takes a lot of time so it is bigger of n and then for uh, displaying uh, and for using a display function also it is big o of n as i already told in the count function we don't know how many number of tasks are existing and how many number of categories that we have to traverse through so it is also big o of n and then uh, int and main it it's a uh, same loop until you until you press the number 6 which is a break it keeps on executing so it is also having the time complexity of big o of n so i would uh, obviously say that this delete function traversing and counting these are some of the manipulative functions which will end up in getting us a, a huge time complexity apart from this this code is uh, good to go with now as i already showed you how the code works let me now explain the general basic view how the code implements and how, what is the back end process of what all happens in this for a clear uh, explanation and clear understanding so first of all let's us assume that there is a category named work so in this work there will uh, this is a category okay first place so this category contains two pointers first pointer is for the tasks and the second pointer is for the next category so now this task pointer points to all the task which are uh, which belongs to the particular category for example in the work i have to read so there is a task descriptor set to read and that uh, pointed is the pointer is pointing to the read and the next of the read is pointing to the next task which belongs to the work category so for example uh, let me assume i want to add a task of writing so this is a it works now for example i want to create another category for example na let us name it as home yeah so right now in home also there will be two pointers one is uh, task pointer and another is category pointer so in home let me think um i want to do dishes so i'll write dishes and then another task i have to do in the home which is laundry so laundry and uh, what do you point the last node pointer to null value so let me point this to none and right now i don't want to add any kind uh, category so i'll point this to none so this is the basic view so uh, i hope after seeing this you got a clarity this is an adjacency list adjacency list in the sense there will be a pile of uh, categories and each category is associated with a pile of task so uh, now the creating a category is done creating a task is done now let's uh, talk about how to find a category or a find a task oh, sorry find a task okay so this find a task function helps in deleting the thing so for example now i want to find right so first of all there will be two pointers one is category traverse pointer so this pointer traverses to each category if we did not find anything that we wanted in this category then this pointer sets to the next one so that we'll try to find if that exists in the next one so that is a category pointer and there is, there will be a task pointer in which this task pointer traverses through each task until we find the respective task we were searching for this is the uh, this is the basic view and now let me discuss about the display function uh, so in the, uh, in the display function i hope you uh, you people all have a clarity that already i have mentioned in the code session where first of all a category pointer first of all it traverses through all the categories and the task so first we go to the work and then this category pointer sets in this place and then the task pointer uh, first of all prints the read function and then goes to the work function so it keeps traversing and after you have printed and after the task pointer reaches to null then this shifts here so again the category pointer comes here and then task pointer comes here and it prints all the tasks so that's how it works now this uh, delete delete a cat uh, delete a task so for deleting a task first we need to know whether the particular uh, task is existing in the chosen uh, category or not so for that we need to search for a, a category first if the category is existing then we try to traverse by using the task pointer as i already told 
uh, and uh, in the task pointer if it finds the respect to task description which we are searching for then it deletes it for example if i want to delete work first of all the category pointer points to work then the task pointer traverses to first of all read is read is equals to write no so it next it goes to write so write is equals to write yes so then it deletes this so that's how the delete function works mm, and now count so count is the most important and most you know to be frank a thrilling topic to actually talk about so first of all uh, in count function uh, here first of all category pointer it points to the work so in work we have two tasks okay we have two tasks which is read and write assume that i did not delete the writes so it has two tasks in it and then now the category pointer points to uh, home so in home we have another two tasks so in home we have another two tasks so total it becomes of four so first of all it only takes the task not category it doesn't mind how many categories you have it just minds how many tasks that are there in the particular category so it takes the count only for the task not for the category so by that the count function works so i think you got a clear cut view how this all works so in this video we talked about the introduction which is uh, how to create a to-do list using dsa data structures uh, in c language and also i showed you the c code and i also explained to you how each of the step works and then uh, i also uh, spoke about the time complexity which is the most crucial thing of the dsa um, and also i showed you the back end work like how the code works how each function works how exactly we do it and stuff like that so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe